What's up guys and gals? My name is Splattercat. We are here at the Nerd Castle with the next episode of No More. I just realized it's very, very quiet. Hold on. What? Why did I do that? I can't recall why I did that in the first place. I think I was trying to watch a movie or something while the game ran in one of my other playthroughs. I don't know, but we just got four nomads, so we should probably assign those. Let's jump on in. And we've got Bert. That's fine. That's cool. We can go with Nappa. Oh, no, it's Napo. I thought that was going to be an awesome DBZ reference, but nope. It's not Nappa. It's Napo. He's not very good at... He's good at mining. I mean, we could have another miner if we really wanted to. He's pretty good at medicalizing. He's decent at cooking. Well... I suppose it's to the minery with you, then. There we are. Now, after we get done with him, we've got Crindled. A Crindle sounds like the kind of thing, I don't know, if it sounds like one of those old words that they would use to describe something you do with an embroidery. But like, oh, well, you go four stitches in and then you Crindle this edge. That's what it sounds like to me. I don't know. Skills Ores. Pretty good with an axe. Pretty handy with an axe, in fact. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think our guard duty people are pretty much where we want them to be, but you're not very good at anything else, are you? Well, that's disappointing. Then I think I will assign you to our second military group, which I haven't even thought about a name yet. This one's full. The second will be the Grilling Sacks of Flame. No, I don't think that's what I'm going to name it. I think I'm going to call them the, I don't know, the All Day Crew. There we go. There we go, that's how it works. And yes, I realize crew is not spelled that way. Before somebody jumps on me, it's like, Hey, crew's not spelled that way, man. I know, I know, it's fine. Let it go. Let it go, let it go. Something, something, something. Snow, 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 snow. Cold never bothered me anyways or something. I don't... Why is that so popular on the internet right now? I feel like I drastically missed the train on this whole fad. I mean, it was an okay movie, but it wasn't like The Incredibles or anything. Like, The Incredibles was better. I, I feel like I'm pretty... I, I feel like as far as movies go, The Incredibles was definitely a better film. I don't know. I think every now and again, man, I, don't, I think it's probably just because they brought like the entire cast of Wicked along with them. And everybody was just like, yeah, it's like Wicked, but with Pixar. Yay! I don't know. I have no idea why that movie was so popular. I can't tell you. We got a Warhammer right there. We added somebody to... Oh, that's right. I didn't even do the thing that I was supposed to do. So we've got the all-day crew. I said all day crew, not day crew. There we go. And that one is going to have, oh god, what was his name? Let's see if my memory will fail me right now. Crindled, I think was his name. Alright, well we'll go with... I don't know. No, we don't want the fart formation. Oh no, I'm going to have to reconfigure more formations. That's saddening. I would just say that the new formation should be... I have no idea. I should rename this All Day Crew. I don't want to do this on camera. That's one of the, my big things. And the leader would obviously be... Oh, I haven't even... I don't know if I want to make him sword and board or not. I kind of want to make somebody with like a giant two-handed axe as well. Just have a little bit of everything maybe to show off the game. We will... I'll configure him in between episodes. Like I, I could show you guys how to do this in case you're wondering how to specifically assign weapons to certain people. But I feel like we can actually soak up a huge chunk of an episode, just me doing this one thing. So instead, what I think I'm going to do is we'll leave him off for right now, and we'll just let him kind of cruise around our population doing nothing. And after Crindle, we have Jeff. <laughs> Alright, well, we have Jeff, and he's good at woodcutting. He's reasonably decent at farming, and so I think he may be better off as a farmer. Since our woodcutters, I think we have enough of them. So let's make him a farmer. And the last remaining individual who is nomadicating is going to be Yas. Who looks like he is an armor crafter. And he's good at... Oh man, he's got weird stats, doesn't he? Okay, so he's a little bit odd. How is he at tinkering? Not very good. That's disappointing. He's okay at engineering. We need an engineer very, very badly. But we've yet to find anybody with reasonable skills at it. He's good with a hammer. Actually, not a terrible choice. He's got good fitness, too. Not a terrible choice for a soldier. Well, I suppose I'll assign him to be the engineer. And we'll just give him, like, assignments to make him better at things, I think. He's got that going on right there. We could presumably just have him sit and build wrenches for a little while. 
to get better at whatever it is that he does. I think tinkering is how you invent stuff too. I don't know, I don't get this far in the game very often. And it looks like we got another bear running around unchecked. So let's go ahead and handle him really fast. Make sure that he ends up like dead in a ditch somewhere. Oh, never mind, he left the map. Even better. Him leaving it means I don't have to murder the animal and then on the other plus side it means he gets to go about living his bear field life. Why are you guys not tearing down the scaffolding right here? Like, yeah. Make that happen, yo. Or do you just tear down the bottom part and then the rest of it just kind of falls down in kind? I'm watching intently. I'm watching in silence. Oh, it does. It knocks down the entire thing, but it leaves the box right there. That's weird. Okay, so that's the benefit right there, is that it allows you to take down the entire scaffolding in one go. Yep. So I suppose it's a minor benefit. It's not quite as good as the ones from towns where you can just click them on and off and they're just like really, really quick to put up and put down. But at the same time, works out a little bit better than mashing your head against a wall. Do I still have anything over here in the stone cutters? I don't. Okay, so I should probably make sure that... I would say, honestly, just craft them to 100, and if we don't have 100 marble blocks, then we'll go do something else. There we go, because I think we're sitting at like 87 or something like that right now. And so it shouldn't take us that long to get our blocks up to where they need to be. I also need to take a look at the mining level down below, and I realize that's kind of the hateful phrase of the series. Just like, oh my god, don't look down. No, why? Why are you spending so much time below ground? Well, because you kind of have to, and I, I need to go check on something down there, so let's go ahead and take a look and make sure everything's lit down here, because I am worried about invasions from below. Technically, what I could do is I could... well, no, I don't think that would work out very well. I was going to say, I could take Bert, and I could just station him down here in the mines, because there's less ground to travel to get between enemies, but that might not be my best plan that I've ever concocted. That looks to all be lit. Oh, that's right. That's what we were doing down here. So I don't think I'm going to have that done right now. We do need to take a look and see if we can find more iron on this level because obviously it was over here. So we may be able to find the seam as it runs, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to allow them a little bit of time to work on some of those stone blocks. And honestly, I think we should probably work on construction still, like maybe build another house today or something. Do like something. Make the place look a little bit nicer. Over here, I need to remove this road and move it in by one. So I think what I'll do... Actually, I don't even think I need to do that, to be honest. Let's go ahead and just replace floor here. And we'll just say marble, and I think if I expand this out one further, it'll all work out okay. It'll be alright. But my concern was that I don't have space for a 5x5 over here along a wall that we can get anything done with. Now that we're in the first day of spring, we do want to be careful about invasions. There is the possibility of that happening, and the enemy does always seem to hit us while we've got our pants down. It doesn't help that our pants are down a lot of the time, just based on general games of grab ass, which is a very popular sport around here in Nemoria. Grab ass, very, very popular. However, our pants being down aside, they do always seem to attack when we don't have anybody on guard duty. And I would like to set up a second squad to make sure that that doesn't happen. Just basically make sure that there's always somebody assigned down here. I should also probably jump in and assign more gear. I think all these guys have a total amount of gear. Let's get started on some of the extra blacksmithing projects that need to get done. I'm going to go to the armorer. And what we'll do is let's get, first and foremost, we need to get our forge back up and running with steel bars. Because obviously... Oh, we've only got 15 iron ore, really. Do I have... What? How do we only have 15 iron ore? It's a little bit concerning. Alright, well, make steel bars for as long as you can. I mean, I think we're only going to get maybe 5 or 6 out of there, but... Well, that kind of forces my hand. We're going to have to do that on this episode. Let's get back to finding more iron. Really bad luck on this map. Insanely bad luck, in fact. Or no, it's not this floor that I need. I needed to be on. Wait, what? It was this floor that I needed to be on. Platinum on that level, that's cool. I don't think I've ever seen platinum around before. That may have been added since the last time I played, I don't know. 
That or I was just not paying attention to all of my precious metals that were laying around. Which kind of begs the question, are they really that precious if nobody actually looks out for them? But anyways, this is not the time. For artificial sophistry or anything, I don't know. I don't even think that's the right word to use. Pretty sure it's not. Almost positive. Let's make sure that that gets mined out. And I'm just going to leave them small tracts of mining to get done. Until I can guarantee that things are going to get finished that need to be finished. Let's go back up to the top floor. I wanted to take a look and see if any of those steel pickaxes are being used either. Like, I thought they would swap out their gear for the next best thing. Yeah, they're not even using them. Which is bad, because we need them to be using those. Here, cutting clippings, good. Why are these bags not getting crafted? What's going on here? Do we just not have enough bolts? Like, what's going on here? Or have we hit, like, a bottleneck where only, like, one guy is working on this? Okay. Well... I have to trust that this is going to get done, and it appears as though somebody is working on everything, so it should work out. I think they're just crafting the constituent parts first, so basically they're going to have to make the string, they're going to have to make the panels, the whatever. They're making all of that first, and then they're moving on to the other stuff. So as you can see, they're stockpiling a bunch of bullshit over here. And so what I think I should do now is maybe throw some crates in here, just to make sure that there's extra storage space. Put those woodworkers to work. Considering there's plenty of things to be done right now, I don't think we're going to have any problem... Oh, we've also got a lot of our society is sleeping at the moment, so it's no wonder kind of jobs aren't getting done. Lots of people clocked out. That's okay. Everybody needs a break every once in a while. My break used to be like my sacred time back when I was working in retail. Just don't bother me on my break. That was the worst. If you were like walking out of the building and somebody like, excuse me, can you help me? I'd be like, I'm on my break right now. And technically I can get fired for helping you while on my break. And actually I knew somebody that got fired for helping somebody on his break. Bad luck Chuck right there. Bad luck Brian, anyways. I knew somebody got fired for checking their work email while they were at home, too. And so as we expected, it looks like the iron does run deep right here, which is going to help us out a lot. If these idiots would swap out their gear... Yeah, they're still using copper pickaxes. Like, I wish they would not use these. Because they'd be doing this job a lot faster if... I don't think there's any way for me to force that, either. I can, I think, if I... I think I can force it if I design, like, outfits for each profession. Is that iron, too? Because we may have hit the mother load right here if that's iron. It is. Ooh, we may have found the lair, then. This could work out for us. If this is all iron over here, I may build bridges, because we're desperate enough at this point to where I'm kind of in damn the torpedoes mode, where I really don't care. I would actually sacrifice a couple gnomes to make sure we get all of the iron on this layer because we need a lot of it. We need a ton of it. And loads and loads of iron. Logs are diminishing at the moment, probably due to the fact that we are doing a lot of crafting for planks and things like that. That's okay though, I'm not sitting on the edge of my seat being super, super anxious about it. Sorry, I'm like looking at things right now. I lose my train of thought all the time. I like start staring at visual representations of things and I'm just like Aah! and then all real thought just kind of vanishes. We have a lot of trees to get cut. Then we have a lot of woodworking taking place too. So once those crates are in, that should free them up. So basically what's going to happen, the bottleneck in my production right now was that once this stockpile was full of cloth, they would just stop producing over here because this spot right here would get full and they have nowhere to take it and so basically there's no room around for them to store anything, and so that was the issue I was running into. So basically, this stockpile had to happen. I had to put crates in because there was just too much string and all kinds of crazy stuff laying around over here on the side. The next layer that we build is likely going to be our miscellaneous layer. I don't know if you can make bone floors or anything. Can you make, like... Is there anything interesting you can make out of bones, or... 
Doesn't appear to be so. Oh well. I'm gonna build some skull poles because we can. Sure, goblin skulls. Any stick, doesn't matter. Pick a stick, any stick. And we'll just treat this like... What was the name of that bridge? I don't know. There was a bridge in London that they used to put the heads of all the convicted traitors on. Like all the major... Basically anybody that led a rebellion, they'd have you drawn and quartered and then they'd like send you to the four corners of the kingdom and then they'd like mount your heart or like your head on some bridge. I don't know if it's London Bridge. I don't know. I have to look that up. That's one of those bird is past tower makes exhaustion. Yep, good old Pogo over here. You just can't make it. He just can't make it. Poor guy. The tinkering bench. Now what occurs at a tinkering bench? Is that the menu for it? Oh, interesting. Oh, you invent things. Okay, so I suppose we'll put... I don't remember who it was. Was it Yas? Okay, so Yas is our engineer for now. We'll just assign Yas to it the whole time. I mean, might as well. And what is this over here? The engineer shop. So the engineer shop, I assume, is where the inventions go once we're done. If I had to estimate it. It might be worth it to just have him sit and craft wrenches for a little while so that he gets better at this. Because his tinkering and his engineering were not so great. As I recall. Oh, his tinkering's really good. Never mind. His tinkering's totally off the scales. 26 is average, actually. If it was in the 40s, I'd say it was off the scales, but... He's doing okay, though. He's doing alright. There's nothing to be embarrassed about right here. It's all... He's doing his job. He's getting his research done. And so hopefully we'll get... I don't necessarily know... It appears as though there's going to be a severe bottleneck right there in the invention process, so I guess we'll just take it as it stands. I do want to get guns and things though, so I was hoping the series was kind of coming to an end so that we could move on to other sandbox games. But as it's looking, nobody's still, there's a bronze axe land right there, so they've dumped the bronze axe, presumably so that they could pick up, like, I don't know, a copper one or something like that. They're not using the proper tools right now, and I'm too lazy to go through and assign them all individual outfits. Got food coming in from right there. Drinks are looking a little bit depleted. What was I making my drinks out of? Out of curiosity. It's making grape wine. And do I happen to have any uh, grapes? Well, I can do this purely by food. It'll be faster if I do it this way. We have 13. No, we don't actually. So what I'll do is I'll do a backup right here. And these are executed in the order that they're listed from top to bottom. What I'll do is I'll add like a strawberry wine, I guess, or an orange wine to the bottom so that we're always crafting drinks regardless of what materials we have. I doubt there will ever be a case where we run out of both oranges and grapes based on the harvest that we've been seeing lately. We've got a pretty good setup right now. I'm pretty happy with where we are. This is a really, really good gnomish society. And aside from the setbacks that we've really had, because we have, We've had setbacks. We've had some bad things happen to people that were just kind of not excusable. I think everybody... No, we still got a Mr. Woods has created a legendary birch crate. Or Mrs. Woods. Miss Woods. I apologize. The Bridler of Curses. It's worth 20. You would assume that it would be able to store more or something if it was legendary. Like it would store a double amount or something maybe. Guess not. I don't think our Great Hall is ever going to get finished. I know you guys have wanted me to do that for a while, but I was going to put a Great Hall somewhere else and see if I could get it lined up there. How fast does this go? Not very fast. God. Okay, well, let's assign Yas to it nonstop, and we'll just leave him there. I don't know if it's a function of how slow his engineering skill is, but it needs to get done. Let's also... How many metal floors do I have? I did want to put in some lead floors right here to make it look nicer and also to make it more expensive. Our kingdom is about to crest 100,000 worth, which is not a huge amount. I've seen people with enormous kingdoms that are insanely valuable. So, not necessarily the most impressive, but I think what I'll do here is we'll get the next floor level laid out for our next set of buildings. And now that we've got logs... I don't know. We could do a plank wall. And we'll go like five. Eh, that looks weird. We'll go in a little bit more. We'll go five there. 
four there. And we have to be careful about the door, so let's leave the door where it is. And we have to jump back into, unfortunately, we have to go all the way back through to where we were. We'll call this pine. And so there it is. We're probably going to run out of pine pretty shortly, but it can't be helped. It's just, you got to deal with the fact that sometimes you don't have enough wood laying around. And it might be worthwhile right now. Well, we may, up, and we may end up with more birch. I don't know. We've got such a small pine field, or such a small pine grove right now. I may actually designate another one over here, like a secondary pine grove around somewhere. Not a lot of space though. I think we've just about tapped out this region. And we've also got to make sure that we're not depleting our... Yeah, our stores of saplings, because if we run out of those, then they're not going to get replanted, and that'd be super badsies, and it would make me feel very, very sad. So what I'll try and do is put in a couple houses right here, like maybe two of them. And then over here, we need to designate this as a domicile because it is now finished. And we want to designate this a personal quarters. There it is. Anybody can jump in that wants. It's worth a ton of money. It's worth 1800 Just that one house is worth 1800 So that's cool. That allows somebody else to live in there. And then, as always, we'll put up our scaffolding. Can you build scaffoldings? Let's try this one more time. Can you build scaffoldings to the lair you want them to be at, too? Like, if I put one right there, will they build up to it? Or will I have to do the subsequent lair first? Looks like the subsequent lair has to go first. Okay, understandable. I didn't want to do it, but, you know, it makes sense. He needs beer. Hopefully he doesn't die of thirst or anything trying to get there. I should assign somebody to be a doctor so that they can just bring him stuff. His leg won't regrow or anything, in case you were wondering. We can't, there's no real way for us to make that happen. Wish there was, but there's not. We'll go with a pine plank floor right here. I'm gonna try and make sure we're on the proper level. So lots of things to get done with pine. The next building will probably build out of birch, simply based on the fact that I think we have a lot more birch logs than we do pine logs. We may not even be able to finish this one during the course of this episode. This may not be something that's actually tangible to complete. But anyways, I'm going to break the episode off right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in the Nerd Castle for a little bit of a constructy episode of Nemoria. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody, and hi-do.